Yes, it, it doesn't look good from afar, um, but I don't think it tells the, the, the true story of the game. 35 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever it was, was a lot of us, some really good play, some energetic play, some, some, you know, some dynamic runs. We just, because of the situation that's built, I think, we just made some poor decisions uh, in and around their, their penalty area. You know, Andy Alfred's got free. We've had some headers at goal that, because it, we were just reaching for them, didn't quite, didn't quite go in the back of the net. Um, but for that particular period of time, that's where we need to get our goal, and that would have kept tails up. And then, you know, if we could have gone in one nil up, then then probably our, for over all the first half, we probably deserve to be ahead. But you know, we get done on a on a long ball. Um, you know, a, a decent goal from them to be faced, took it well, but we didn't get the luck when it broke. Joel made an excellent save, and it's ricocheted straight in front of him he's tapped it into an open net so sometimes when you're down that's what that the things go against you was that second goal pretty much the story of your whole season you miss a chance at one end and 20 seconds later it's in the back of your net <laughs> yep and then we get we also get back to to two one and concede very very quickly after that you know as much as we give Rex some some credit for their you know they broke very quickly with a lot of bodies um you know that their their last goal sum them up really the way they break forward and they've got some pace doing it we, we just didn't you know you can't switch off against good teams and, and, and let people run off backs of you um, you know I think probably three of the goals we should have done something about I think the, the fourth one is born off tiredness and, uh, and the lads got a lot of pace down the right hand side but you know generally as I say they kept going they kept plugging away we still had one or two chances second half also I think your first line in this interview was it doesn't look good from afar. Is that your big worry now that although this was a decent performance, ultimately the man who's given you a month in the job is looking at the scoreline from afar? No, not really. Um, it, it's it's just more fans that weren't here and don't see, didn't see, you know, the 90 minutes that the fans that were here saw, which was the team that that are back in their manager are working right till the end. We didn't take our chances when we got them, and against a good team like Wrexham, who've got you know some good players coming back from injury, then you, then you're going to get punished, um, and that has also been the story of the season. Um, people will talk about formations, tactics, etc., but if you don't take your opportunities when they come your way, the longer it goes on, you start to slash at things you don't make, you know, quite the right decision at certain times, um, then you get punished at, at this level. That, that's that's the be all and end all of it. It was said this week, we'll see who wants to play for the manager, and I think to a man, every single one was, was fighting for you today out there. Well, I've always stated that, I don't think that was ever a question. Um, and and all, the, all the boys will, you know, will do, was put a performance on like today, work very hard, you know, try their utmost for, for the football club. But, you know, there's been some things, negative things said about them as well, which, which had hurt them. Um, you know, so training was about that, as well as working on different aspects of, of play. It was about, you know, keeping together, grouping together, and making sure that we were. You know, we could get something from today. The gate, it hasn't worked out, but now we've got to go back Monday and work hard again, get ready for the next game. And you were well on top today, and then there was that horrible incident with, with Neil Ashton. As you came up there, you said it looks like it's going to be months. What's, what's the story there? We're told that there's, there's uh, two rips to his calf muscle uh, where, where studs have, have gone through, and, uh, and you, can, you could apparently see the bone uh, where, the, where the muscle had been torn apart. So it's a nasty one for Neil on his, on his return. Um, it, it's not how we wanted it to end. Um, with him coming off and then the team losing against his old team, but what an ovation he got. But yeah, that, that was a, set, a huge setback for us because, you know, as you say, up until that point, we were we were much the dominant team and, and the team looking to, to press and, and, and playing some decent football. So, you know, that hasn't ultimately cost us the, the, the end result, but it was a, a difficult one for the lads to take early on in the game. Uh, you got 70 minutes out of Elliot Newby, who uh, was, was one of your standout players, in fact, today. Well, sometimes, you know, you... you He's been a, a character that spoke about a lot, and, and all we've had to do is, is use him in certain in, in, at certain times, nurture him, make sure that he was ready, and he knows he knows uh, this league and he's watched this league, he's watched his opposition, what he's needs what he needs to do in, in certain areas when he doesn't have the ball, and and it's all come together. He did very very well. He looked like he was tiring, you know, when, when we took him off. So also there was a need to to try and freshen things up a little bit. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, he's one of the bright positives of the day. You move on to Geisley next. Obviously today Wrexham were very clinical. You've got to hope that your lads can put in the same graft and hope that Geisley aren't quite as clinical next Saturday. Yeah, we need to worry about ourselves as much as anything. Um, as you say, make sure that when opportunities come our way, we bury them. And, uh, and that you know, goals change people's attitude towards it, players' mentalities. The whole team's lifted on, on things, as I say. When we got our first, when we got our, our goal today, if we just held out a little bit longer, then you maybe thought that with the crowd being as they are over the last few weeks at, at Wrexham on their, on their home turf, we, we could have possibly gone and pinched something, but they were very clinical in the end. Thanks for speaking to us, Dan. Cheers, thank you.